In this series of episodes here, I am covering the toolbar. And in this episode specifically, I'm going over the razor tool. The razor tool shortcut is the letter C. You think of C as in cut, you hit C and it turns it into a blade. The blade here operates best when you've got the snap tool turned on. When the snap tool is turned on, you can basically take this blade and get it right up close to your playhead and notice it suddenly locks because it's the snap tool is on, it snaps to my playhead and you click, it'll perform a cut. Let me move my playhead and you'll notice there is a cut here on this video now. As I play through this, look TK. It looks like nothing happens because I've got basically what's called a redundant cut or what Premiere calls a through edit, which basically means that is a redundant cut that does not need to be there. I usually say I'm trying to get rid of maybe this portion of footage right here. I get it on the exact playhead where I need it and I'm going to hit B. And right now this video and this audio is unlinked because if I click on the video, it only cuts the video. If I actually cut something that's linked together, let's move to some an audio clip. If I find a video clip, an audio clip that's linked, let's click on this. Like these two belong to each other and they're linked together. And I hit C for my arrow, C for my razor tool. And I move over here and I cut right on the video. Let's zoom up. And I hit cut right on the video. Notice it cuts the audio as well because those are linked together. So if you cut something that belongs to something else, you're going. If you cut a video clip and it has an audio clip linked to it, it will cut the audio as well, and vice versa. If you cut the audio and has a video link selected, see, watch this. See from my arrow tool, click. It cuts the video as well. Now, if you want your blade just to cut video on something that's linked, one way that we showed before is you could lock your audio like this. Hit C for your arrow tool, click, and it cuts just the video. But let's unlink that there and show this video and audio is linked here. If I hit C and hold down Option and click on the video, it will cut just the video. Or hold down Option and click on the audio, it'll cut just the audio. So say we want to cut off this portion right here and eliminate this portion right here. All we have to do is get the playhead exactly where we want it. Move to the playhead, click on it, cut, hit V for your arrow tool, select this clip, and then hit Delete but it leaves a gap there. I'm going to undo. I can select this and hold down Option Delete and it deletes and fills the gap. All right, moving to a different timeline with stacked tracks here. We've got a stacked video track and stacked audio track. Let's hit C for our razor tool. I'm going to move to this uh, video and audio clip that are linked here. And I'm going to hit my C tool and I'm going to click. And of course, it just cuts. Notice that it just cuts right there on this video and audio track right there. But say I want to cut through everything. Say I want to cut from here and eliminate everything forward. I've got my C tool sl selected. All you have to do is hit Shift as your modifier key. And look at that. It brings up two blades and you click and it cuts everything on this plane right here, on this playhead. It's, it cuts through everything. Now you have a track that is cut all the way through there. Now you can maybe do select all tracks forward, select and delete, and it cuts everything from that point forward. Um, I hardly ever use the razor tool because I use a shortcut for basic cutting. As I'm playing through a clip here, and if we need to cut, kind of a quick way of cutting is the shortcut Control or Command K. Control K or Command K will cut exactly where your playhead is. Move over the stack tracks here and hit Control K. It selects, it cuts through everything. If you just want to use your Control K feature to, to cut through one video clip, I can select here. Now it's just got that selected with a the, with the track selected. Control K will just cut the selected track and not cut everything else on the timeline. One other little thing to show here is if you do perform a redundant cut and you don't and you don't want your redundant cuts showing, if you do perform a redundant cut or a through edit, and it's an unnecessary cut basically. Sometimes it's unnecessary. Let's go, I'm gonna hit Control K and cut through these things here. And notice as I play through this clip, it hits the edit and nothing happens because the next frame belongs to this previous frame. So it's, still, it's basically a through edit or a redundant or unnecessary cut. I'm gonna go to my timeline settings under this wrench here and tell it to show through edits. Through edits are the redundant cuts or the unnecessary cuts. I click on that and look at this. It's got a little double arrow here pointing toward each other saying this is a through edit. This does not necessarily need to be there. So that's uh, sometimes done unintentionally. Notice it's not here because that is cutting from one clip to the next. But this here, it basically this clip belongs to itself here. If you right click on that, you can say you can say join through edits and it gets rid of that redundant cut right there. That's basically what the razor tool does when you have this selected. It will cut a single track or single linked tracks. And if you hold down shift, it'll do the double blade and it will cut through everything. Okay, the next episode we will be covering Slip and Slide.